All right, so before we get into today's video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we drop. Make sure to go Walls Production Clips and Walls Production Live and subscribe to that channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at one of Nair's latest videos. I know y'all been y'all been wanting me to do this video for the longest. I know y'all been spamming the inbox and stuff up, so we're going to react to this video today. And with that being said... um. Make sure to go to the My Pet Express Facebook page and like those videos on that page and follow that page. Also, we're trying to get that page to 10,000 followers. You know what I'm saying? Um, with that being said, they want us to believe their content's real, so we're going to react to their content like it's real. Oh, my God. Who is she? Shorty looking good. I ain't even lie. I'm gonna give her a compliment on her. See what she's talking about. Oh my God, you look amazing. What's your name? Thank you. My name is Nayo. What's your name? I don't give my name away for free. For free? What? No. Why you gotta be like that? No. Why you acting like that? I'm you busy. Yeah. So, I, so I can get your name? You got my name? I can get I'm your name? I'm interested. I'm on my way to some money. Oh, okay, man. All right, have a nice day then, all right? All right, man. So, Shorty did say, I don't, get my way, I don't get my name away for free. She also says she ain't got time because she's on her way to some money. This, bruh, this dude is harassing a girl for her name when her cheeks is out, bruh. Like, who do that? I know niggas who, 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 who will harass for the cheeks, man. Them cheeks is fat. Let me touch them, man. Let me get that man. Got the cheeks out, man. Don't you shake something? Uh, they ain't gonna be like, hey, what's your name? I can't get your name. Can't get your name. Bro, come on, man. Is it already, niggas is already just starting the video all, all fucked up and all wrong, bro. How you gonna harass somebody for their name when they cheeks out, bro? Harass them for the cheeks, bro. You know what I mean? Harass them for the cheeks, bro. I ain't never in my life, man. What's your name? What's your name? I can't get your name. Can't get your name. Like, nigga, like, you see the cheeks there, bro. So, now, before we even get into this video, man, Shorty's walking, literally, like, literally, you know, usually we say the cheeks is out, bro, literally, she might as well just not have no draw, not have no shorts on, got her cheeks hanging out like that, and this nigga's, leave a comment in the comment section before we get started, man, there ain't nothing to talk about here, nothing, like I said, there ain't nothing, nothing, it's not, we're not doing gold digger this video, bro. Nothing about this. Don't say gold digger, bro. This say how much money you spending, how many hours you getting, bro. That's all I say. For everybody to know what that statement mean, you know what that statement mean. If you don't know what that statement mean, you gotta subscribe to Walls Production Live and get that page to a thousand subscribers so we can talk about stuff like this on that channel. But with that being said, we are officially eliminating this as a gold digger video. It's eliminated as a gold. This is a straight. Where the cash at? Cash for some ass, bro. This is all this is, man. It ain't nothing else. But let's see how he play. Let's see if he's going to be asking what she brings. <laughs> let's see if he going to ask those questions. What she brings to the table. If he do, well, I can't with this dude, man. I may retire from doing Nair videos. I'm not feeling like I may retire from doing Nair, reacting to Nair videos, man. If he sit up there and ask what she brings to the table, what she looking like, what she looking for in a man. If he asks, I'm gonna retire from doing this these videos, man. I don't know why I gotta be like that. She had a nice body, though. I ain't gonna lie. What's up? I ain't even see there. What's up? Hey, where is she going? I'm actually about to have, handle some business. What's you up? Handle business. Yeah. Can I have a moment to talk to me? Say it again. Can I have a moment to talk to me? I mean, I did. I was trying to, but you said you got like some money to make, right? No, it's like you said you was like busy a little bit, so I ain't want to like. Not too busy for you. Oh, not too busy for me. Oh, no. oh, now you're not, huh? I got time. You got time now. Okay. Somebody who likes vagina. Okay. Somebody who likes women. The last thing they're going to be worried about, man, 
is anything she talk about that don't consist of her ass and you smashing, bro. So he talk about some, oh, you got some, I heard you, you, you say he's on the way to some money, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, nobody, nobody worry about nothing. No. Nobody worry about none of that. I'm just saying. Like, now, this car is what you call, if you did, if you, okay, we've been doing these videos for almost a year. You might as well, February. So you might as well gonna say almost a year, right? So, We've been using uh, change your format, change your monologue, change your script for a long time, right? Now, this is what you call a a if you if if you still believe these is, these videos is real. If you believe anything outside of uh, we hate and all that stuff, bro, this is what you call a scripted um, fake gold digger video. Because let's be one hundred, man. We gotta be one hundred with ourselves on this one. You ain't worried about where she was going. You're not worried about none of that. You worried about smashing those cheeks, bro. Or even seeing the cheeks or even touching the cheeks. A nigga's not, no. Not, not in the least, bro. Even if you ain't even a thirsty motherfucker. Even if you are cool, kick back, chill, lay back. Bro, you still gonna be interested in telling her to see them cheeks. You're not gonna be worried about nothing else, man. It is what it is, man. Okay, let me get the car real quick. So you say you got time now. What happened earlier though? Like your, your energy was a little different earlier. I didn't know what you were doing. I didn't know who you were. Strange what you mean? Danger. I mean, you still don't know. You still don't know me now though. Like, what's the difference from like well, earlier I have now? Well, time to know you now. Well, why not earlier though? You feel me? And I heard him whisper the words "gold digger" right before he said "gold digger." Before he said, let me hop out. Gold digger, bro. Nothing gold digger is about anything. Shorty clearly is about cash for ass, bro. That's all it is. So all this extra. Stuff this dude talking about all this extra gold digger, then man, ain't none of that, dog. Shorty's about what Shorty's about, man. And it is what it is, man. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. It is what it is. It's as real as I can keep it with y'all about what y'all watch it. Nobody's getting out of no vehicle. What about all this? Earlier, you, you couldn't even get your name. Could, niggas not worried about none of that, man. It'd be a different story, low key. Just slightly, it'd be a different story. Just because Shorty's thick, it'd be it'd be it'd, it'd be a different story if she had full clothes on, just a little bit, man. But with her like that, man, when reality kick in, nobody's at, nobody worried about none of that crazy stuff he talking about. Your name, no, nobody worried about that. Leave a comment in the comment section. Ask yourself, are you gonna be worried about why she didn't give you your name over here? If she come back like, no, you not. Are you going to be hopping out of car? Like, well, you seem like you're busy. You're da, 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 talking about everything but the elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room, if you don't know, I've already told y'all what this statement means. It means the obvious thing in the room. The biggest thing that's, you know what I'm saying, in the dead room. I'm just saying, if there's, if there's a bunch of dudes in the room and they all 5'6 and they all weigh 150 and Brock Lesnar's in the motherfucking the room with you, He's the elephant in the room. It's obviously, it's hard to miss that. It's hard to miss him. Just saying, man. So, somebody in the comment section, man, please, if you can, and I, I, I dare you, if you can, make this make sense. Because it ain't making no sense right now, man. At all. Now, I look at you a little different, though. You feel me? You look gorgeous, though, but, like, you, you throw me off a little bit. Like, you had bad energy. Like, I ain't like that, the way you responded to me. Like, now you couldn't give me the time of the day or nothing, though. You know I what I'm saying? Time for you, now. you got time for me now. Yeah. I always missed your blessing. You I feel me? Missed yeah. You. Where you from, though? California. California? How long have you been in Houston? For a few years. Oh, yeah, you fuck with it? Yeah, I love Houston. Okay, who you coming here with? Like a guy or. No, I'm here friend. by myself. By yourself? Yeah. Damn, so you made a jump by yourself. I did. New opportunities. Damn, Damn you're right about that. Right here. Nah, facts, facts. You almost missed that, though. That's what I'm saying. You gotta stop. You gotta change that. You know what I'm saying? Meet somebody else. Like, you can't just, like, throw them off. You feel me? You gotta try to give them time and mm -hmm. give them, like, you know what I'm saying? Time to get them home and shit. You feel me? Yeah. But um, where you heading to, though? I was gonna go down the street, go shopping. Oh, you're gonna shop Yeah, today. there's some shops in the area. Oh, so it's one of them days. It's shopping days, huh? Days. All right, so peep this. He said, where you headed at? Shorty say, well, I was going to go down the street and go shopping. He's always one of them shopping. That. She's like, yeah, so let me get this right. 
not only is you walking down the street with a fat ass with your cheeks hanging out, like literally just, bro, you just put some thongs on. I mean, why I have the shorts on? Like, it don't even make sense, but you are, we supposed to really believe that you're going to go shopping in a public place with a lot of people in that outfit. <laughs> okay. He got, he got the, it's what he got right about his video, man. He got, okay, you got your little lu uh, luxury car. Fine. You got that part right. You got the girl with a little ass hanging out. You got that part right. Everything else don't even make sense, bro. I'm going to go, like, 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 as if somebody's going to let you in the store like that. As if you, whatever store you're going into, they're not going to let you walk around the store or walk around in the store like that, not unless you know everybody in the store, the uh, people who's running it and all that shit, and everybody dang dang to do the same thing. They know who you are and all that. Other than that, nobody letting you in their store really like that. For especially versus other women, man. Psh, man, you ain't going to no mall looking like that. Hey, she ain't going to nobody's mall looking like that. She ain't going out to eat looking nothing like that. Just saying, man. This is what I tell y'all. When I say something is scripted, this is what you call scripted. Like, we already, like, maybe two minutes in, he ain't said one thing about the ass hang. Like, come on. That's not realistic, man. At all. The average dude, I don't even got to tell y'all what the average dude's going to do. But I'm, because y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? Because you already, in your head, you watching this video, like, man. Like, you already know in your head what you would do. Yes, I'm talking to you. You already know in your head what, what you would do. Just saying, man. <coughs> script it to the script it to the T. And let's see, see, here's another thing. The title gotta match the content. And the storyline has to kind of match the characters, bro. See, this is where they this is where, especially him, this is where he messed up a lot. His storyline doesn't match the characters. Like you literally casually talking to this person like this. Clearly, she's out. She clearly either a hoe or, or out for some money. Or you know, that's it. There's nothing else. Nobody else is just. It's, it's not Miami South Beach. Now, if you was in South Beach, Miami, then this is what you see. You know what I'm saying? When you go to Miami, y'all, that's what you see. And and they 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 all up in stores like that. All of that. It's Miami, so it is what it is. They allow that shit to fly. But you're not seeing that all all across the globe, man. You know what I'm saying? And I've been to Houston also my damn self, man. You don't see motherfuckers just... You don't see that, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. For people who don't, who never travel, who've never been anywhere, tell y'all first, I've been a lot of places, man. And when I was in Houston, I didn't see people just walking down the street like that. Now, the people that I... The people that possibly was outside like that... They, they weren't walking down the street. No, you know what they was doing? They were standing on the street corner like some drug dealers, but they weren't drug dealers because they was females, and we know what that's about, man. And if you don't know what that's about, you got to subscribe to Wild Production Live so we can talk about these things on here. You know what I'm saying? You got to get Wild Production Live to a 1,000 subscribers, man. But anyways, man, what y'all think about this? I know y'all about, oh, she bad, she did. Okay, yeah, we, we already know that. We already know Shorty, whatever. We already know... Nine out of ten dudes is going to hit. We understand that already. But, no, nah, what y'all really think about this, for real? Man, flood that comment section. Okay. You look good, though. I ain't got to do a little spin up for me. That's, that's all you? That's all me. Hold on, let me see you turn around. <laughs> little move, though. And I see you shake that one. You look good, though. I ain't going to lie. Thank you, thank you. So that's homegrown. Yeah, it looks better in 3D. Oh, 3D, huh? Mm -hmm. I need to see that, though. You feel me? You got any kids? No kids? It's just me. You want any? I want a lot of kids. A lot of kids. Yeah. How many kids you want? Eight. Eight kids? Yeah. But well, you better start you now. You have kids? Now I ain't got no kids. Mm, maybe it mm. could be in our, plan our plans. Oh, maybe, huh? Yeah, maybe. I got to see, though. I got to survive with you first, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Look, hop inside the car, though. It's a little cold out here. <sighs> All right, so y'all, I know what y'all probably think. Well, I ain't say I know what y'all probably think like I'm a mind reader. But I know most of y'all probably like, okay, well, why would somebody like that want to not, why, was, why would you want to 
knock somebody up like that, right? Or even ask somebody that question, right? Well, most dudes are like it. Most dudes are like shooting. Most dudes are cool with just having a baby by somebody who look good and not being with them. That's how most dudes are. Me, probably, I ain't like it. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I got have a kid by somebody, I'm going to try to make it work. If it if it don't work, just don't work. Like, I'm just saying, man. Like, <laughs> why, you ask, why would you ask her, you got any kids? You want any kids? Is that like... Come on, man. You know, you know, shorties like that get, you know, shorties like that getting abortions, bro. Shorties like that, they ain't keeping no damn children, man. Come on, man. Be smart, man. <laughs> but now I gotta get to know you a little bit more before I start making kids with you. You feel me? I gotta make sure you're the right one. You know, some girls they try to, they think you're the perfect one. Why so soon? Why so soon? Yeah. Short. You're right though, but like, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta be careful out here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful when you have a kid with, you know what I'm saying? Cause in the beginning they might show good, but when you have a kid, everything just go left, you feel me? And we said something about that. Yeah, we we said something about that a couple videos a couple of videos ago also. So that portion I will agree with him. You do gotta be careful because you know like I said, in the beginning everybody trying to be brand new, everybody trying to, you know, be on their best behavior. And then, you know, Six, seven months down the line, two, three months down the line, motherfuckers act all weird and it ain't they ain't who you thought they was. That's true. But once again, what do you mean you gotta make sure she's <laughs> nigga don't even make sense. What do you mean you gotta make sure she's the right one? Bruh, you literally found her walking down the sidewalk, walking down a main street with her ass hanging out, and you gotta make sure she's the right one. The right one for what? What the right? I don't understand the right one for what the right one to, to what give some money to, and because clearly it's about money with Shorty. See, bras like that, they all about getting some money, bro. That's all it is. They see, okay, I got this little body, all right, so I'm gonna use this body to my advantage and trick dumbass dudes who got money who really want me out of their money because they want some of this action, so I'm gonna give them some of this action as long as they give me some money, like. As long as they take care of me and do this and do that, man. This nigga literally said, I got to make sure you the right one. Did he not realize that she just... And I found myself repeating myself over because it, it don't make sense. Did he just not realize that Shorty was walking down the street like that? Shorty was, Shorty was comfortable with just coming to the driver's side window and standing in the street with cars, with cars passing, pa passing by that she didn't know dressed like that? And you got to make sure she's the right one. Come on, y'all, man. Just look, bro. Your script don't fit the characters, man. Make your script fit the characters, bro. Okay? Maybe it won't look too fake, man. Make your script fit the characters, bro. You know, whenever everybody's going to rehearsals and they're going to be like, hey, man. They're going to be like, hey, Billy. You're 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 playing Thomas in this video. Hey Earl, you're gonna play George. Hey, hey Amanda, you're playing Stacy. Here's your script. And you follow the script. Bro, that's that come on man. Y'all gotta do better, man. For real. <laughs> and I ain't got time to be in that drama. Not with me, I'm good by Are you good? Yeah. Mm. Well, say it earlier, otherwise, other, like before you was acting a little too crazy. I ain't really like that though. Like, your energy was a little off though, mm. you know? What you have planned to eat? Like go shopping? What yeah, else you doing after that? Go shopping, go out to eat, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, have some mimosas. Oh, yeah. Sound yeah. like a vibe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we like, you know what I'm saying? One of these days we can catch a vibe, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little busy today, though, but I got a little time yeah, to talk. You, said but you don't have enough time for me? I mean, not today. Not today. Nah, nah, I got to handle Why? some business later on. What you mean? I got to handle some business. I got to look at some properties, you know. But I could, um, you know, get your number, you know. One of these days we can just um, lock in and link up, you know? You with that? So you ain't got no man right now? No man. No man? No. Damn. You know, in order to be my man, you got to come with the money. It was like that? Yeah, you got to afford this lifestyle. This is... So you were expensive then? Yes, this is an expensive lifestyle. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right, so... Y'all hear what she said? He said... She said, in order for you to be my man, you got to come with some money. You got to be able to afford this lifestyle. Yeah, she's talking about, yeah, this is, a, this is an expensive lifestyle. Now... There's nothing wrong with having an expensive lifestyle. There's nothing wrong with just dealing with people who have the bankroll. 
nothing wrong with that. But once again, um, if, if my if my naive time machine serves me correctly, what I mean by that, all the videos we done done over the course of a year over him, uh, 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 reacting to his videos, I kind of know where he's going to go with this. I think he may almost guarantee you he's going to shame Shorty, degrade Shorty, put her down for only want to deal with people who have something. I can almost guarantee you because that's how these niggas is wired. On one hand, they don't, they want to deal with somebody. They want to deal with a shorty or deal with somebody who's got something, who's on something, who can bring, who can bring something, who can offer something to them. But when whenever the woman only wants to deal with people who can offer something, who have something, who can bring something, y'all know what they call them. They say, oh, you're a gold digger because you only want guys for their money. You didn't want to deal with me before you seen this. Now you see I got a car. Now you want to... So it don't even y'all shit don't even make sense. But like I give you a credit, you, you got the girl right, you got the car right, everything else. You should have what you should have did. You should have pulled a London right. Should have had her stand by your window for the first five minutes, bro. See, you got nervous in your video, and I can peep that. He got real nervous. He seen the cars driving past. He seen everybody doing this, driving, looking. Looking, looking, hey, hey, these are, hey, we can get a car and talk kind of cold out here. <laughs> no, it ain't. Won't you have us stand outside the whole video file? Your video ain't nothing but eight, nine minutes long. Have us stand out, have us stand outside for 50 or 60% of the video just like that. That's where all your viewers is coming from anyway, nigga, not looking at your, your old crispy ant looking ass. Your nigga like an ant. It is what it is. But still. How that bad with you. He's got um, so, like, what you bring to the table, though? This, all of this. I know, okay, your pretty face, nice body, but, yeah. like, what's, what else? That's, like, every girl can bring that, you know? Yeah, this is the whole package. I mean, like, you told me you gotta have a bag, and all, and all you bring is just looks? Yeah. That's not enough. It's enough. How that's enough? You pay for what you like? Nah, I don't. Anybody does. Nah, I don't. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? if you like this, you'll pay for it. I mean, it. I do like it, though, but I'm not gonna pay for it, because it gotta make sense, though, you feel me? It does make sense. How does it make sense? How you bring your pretty face? That ain't enough for me, though. You this feel me? So you want me to be spending day. a lot of money on you, and all you bring it is this? Yeah, imagine this coming. You come home to this. House is clean. Food is cooked. I mean, that's oh, see, oh, you see, you cooking though, right? Yeah, oh, okay, see, so cooking and clean. Okay, that's cool then. Man's doing what he's supposed to do. I'm gonna do what I'm. Oh, okay, that's to cool. Do. Okay, okay, that's cool. Cooking and clean. Make sure everything good in the house. You feel me? Mm -hmm. All right, so I ain't. I would say in, in today's world, but this shit has been happening forever. It's just more publicized in today's world. Why? Because we got social media, so everybody can, you know, can see it a lot more because you can sit there and you can post it on this social media and outlet and stuff like that. So with that being said, bro, everybody want to come home to something like, everybody want to come home to somebody who does everything she say, got her ass hanging out, all that. Nigga want to come home to that. This nigga literally said, y'all. So, well, all you got is to bring a pretty face to the table. That's not enough. Bro, she a whole business by herself. Like, you know how much bread shit? You know how much bread shorty would make off Instagram if she was fucking with the right person? Instagram, you get a lot of money off Instagram. You know how much money she can make off YouTube just by... I ain't finna give her no ideas. <laughs> you know how much money that shorty like that can make off YouTube with the, with the right person? That has the right idea and it's very obvious what that idea is. You know, you know how much attention she can seek on TikTok? Just by sitting in the crib. All she gotta do is put on some, all she gotta do is put on some, you know, nowadays all you gotta do is put on some leggings. <laughs> even fat, even fat sloppy girls is fat sloppy girls is wearing leggings nowadays, man. All she gotta do is put on some leggings and act like she cleaned up in the house. And then turn back around, look at the camera and smell. Million views, dummy. See, this is what I be talking about. What, what do you bring to the table? Her, eh? Money machine, eh? But, but once again, they got to con y'all into believing that everybody got to be able to cook. They got to be able to clean. They got to be able to hold you down mentally. They got to be able to help you help you grind the money back up if you if you felt. They, they, this is the narrative they pushing, bro. Nah, man. <laughs> So are you homebody or do you be going outside a lot? Uh, I like to do a little bit of both. Oh, well, see, I like my female, like, my woman, like, really, like, homebody. Yeah, you wouldn't go out with me every now and then? Yeah, probably, like, once in a while, you know. 
But I'm saying, like, do you go outside a lot? Like, do you go to the club and stuff like that a lot? Yeah, I like to be outside. Yeah. yeah. You got to show this off. It's a trophy. No, nah, no, nah, no, you don't. If it's a trophy, I got to hide that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the dime, you a diamond. I got to hide you. You feel <laughs> me? you want to hide this? Because you a diamond. You don't Too valuable to, to, to have out there like that. You feel me? Imagine everybody seeing us together. Right, that'd be a good look, though. Look. That'd be a good look, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You really compliment me. I'm going to tell y'all this, then we're going to continue watching, man. So, he talking about you a trophy. I got a high. Y'all don't want you all out there like that, such and such. All right, man, so that's what you call an insecure dude. That's what you call a dude to feel like another somebody else can come and take that girl anytime they want to. You see what I'm saying? Because you talking about if, if your girl look good and all that, you got to hide her. You got to keep her inside so can't nobody see. Like, bro, you used to, this nigga smoking crack, bro, <laughs> for real. And on top of that, we don't forget. We know the original narrative to this whole video. The cheeks was out. So why are you in there? See what I'm saying? See how it don't even make sense. You see how we re we see how we was reacting to what we was reacting, and y'all was probably like, "Yeah, man, you right. Why he worried about this? Why?" And y'all see how I brought reality back to you. The beginning of the video. It's called "We Don't Forget." The beginning of the video. Shorty's walking down the sidewalk with her ass hanging out. And this is who you want to wife up? Come on, man. Now, it could be one of your girls. It could be that. But it can't be something that you wife up, brother. Like, like for real. Like, <laughs> it don't even make sense. That's like you going to the strip club and, and, the, and, and the girl up in there sliding down the pole. She ass naked. No nothing on. Titties, ass, everything out. And that's the one you like, I'm wifing that up. Yeah, I'm taking that home. I'm finna. And then you're asking her, well, I, I gotta hide you. I can't let people know that they mean you because you're a trophy. Like, that ain't no trophy, nothing, brother. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. For real, man, these dudes, man, these dudes really be getting dumber and dumber and dumber. Like, they have no script. Like, when you really sit here and watch their stuff, they've. They they script don't fit their characters, man. He's playing the character of a of a dude who's seeking love. Here's the storyline, y'all. In case in case you just don't know, I'm gonna break the storyline down for you. He's playing the character of a dude who's seeking love. She's playing she's playing the character of a of a scantily what they call scantily clothed woman or something like that, walking down the street. She has to get to the money. She ain't got time, but she got her ass hanging out, which means she's available for the highest bidder, the uh, the, the the best talker, the best con man who can persuade her mind to, to go whatever way, wants to, you know, whatever way he, he wants it to go. And he's in a car talking about, I got to make sure you're the right one. Talking about you a trophy. I don't want you out there like that. I got to hide you. That's the storyline. So how do you go from a person walking down the street like a hoe to this being a person that you can possibly see you spending the rest of your life with, with kids? It's like you set yourself up for failure as a dude. Like, shit crazy, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Shit's crazy. I comfort you. You feel me? You Nah, that'd be nice, though. That'd be real nice. It's a pleasure that you don't got no kids. I got no kids, so that's that's good. I ain't got no love, drama, you know what I'm saying? Baby daddy, baby mom, John, you ain't got to none of that. You feel me? So that's good right there. But, mm, okay, you cooking, you clean, pretty face. I had a question, though. So, boom. You know, you say you cooking, you clean. Gorgeous, right? All right. Definitely text you, too, though. But say if I lose everything today, would you help me get back on my feet? Or? If I lost everything today, no, if would you I help lost. Me get every, every, if I lost everything, would you help me get back on my but feet? But you ain't really bringing nothing to the table for me. To, like it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna affect me. I'm not trying to lose. All right, bro. So look, peep this, y'all. So I'm making it short, man. It's self-explanatory. He, he asked the stupidest, most dumbest, stupidest, dumbest, dumbest, stupidest rhetorical ass question that I've really heard him ask. Okay. Talking about if I lose it all today, could you basically help hold me down or could you help me get, get or could you hold me down or could you help me get it back? Easy, bro. Look at it. You know how many, you know how many dumb old motherfucking rich, rich white dudes and black dudes who can barely get it up 60, 65 years old, 70 years old, who you can sick her on nigga, to get the bag? Like, come on. 
Dude can't be for real. He can't. There's no way he can be for real. Be simple. I tell her go. I tell her get get a warehouse job and go up to the the alcoholic drunk drunk white dude, black dude, Mexican dude, Asian dude, um, fucking African dude. Go up to him, flirt with him. Yeah, get his check at the end of the week. There you go. Get get. Be it'll be so easy for anybody. To come up on some money with a woman like that. Because she's already out there. Just oh, go get him. <laughs> get him. Oh, he's driving a nice car. Okay. Go talk to that old dude. Come on, man. Can anybody make this make sense? Because this shit don't make no damn sense. He in there trying to he in there trying to uh put together put together a future with a with a street walker who walk around with her ass out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to lose. No. Okay, well, I'm saying, like, what if I did, though? You know what I'm saying? Because we together. You said you'll be a good uh, a child. I mean, I mean, a good uh, baby mom. Right? So, like, if you, if I lose everything today, would you help me get back on my feet? That's what I'm trying to say. Because it got to make sense. Why are you making that look at me like that? I'm just thinking. I'm listening to what you're saying. Okay, then. Like, so, is you going to help me? Or I like you just to gonna... live, like, a very posh lifestyle. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So, you will just leave me. At the bottom, then I, I'm not go find that. somebody else. I mean, what you mean? Not saying your actions saying everything, though. You're I'm not, not saying, saying that, but your action is, though. You know. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I like to live a very posh lifestyle. So you ain't answer my question. Don't answer my question, then. Are you gonna leave me? Yes or no? See, that's a no question. So you gonna leave me? Okay. You ain't gotta say nothing. Like I said, your actions speak for yourself. So you don't gotta say it at all. He talking about okay. So you leave me. Your actions say everything, bro. What action, though? Like, all you did was haul this shorty. Okay, here, here's all the action. The, all the action that has happened in this video, y'all. For some reason, he he believes in his head that there's more action that ha that has has happened outside of this action, which is the videos. I don't know what space he's living in, but we living in the space of watching the video. So the only action that has happened in this video is Shorty's walking this way. He's walking that way. He tried to holler at it. She basically said, no, nah, I'll him. Okay, he was walking to his car. She stopped, came back to the driver's side window, knocked on the window. He got out of the car. They talked. She got in the car, closed the door, and they've been in the car ever since. So what action is this nigga talking about that shows? <laughs> That's the only action that has happened. What action has showed anything other, anything? Also, it means that if I'm down a bit, and, and y'all have to remember this, y'all. Y'all got to remember this. He's only known Shorty for nine minutes, man. Eight minutes, and this is how he's acting. You only know Shorty for eight minutes. Is that how you're acting, bro? Don't know. And once again, we not finna forget. I like to not say it all the time and then bring it back up so it, it, it kind of, you know, sits on your mind again. Like, oh, I forgot about that. Cause you know, we don't forget. She was, at the beginning of the video, she was walking down the street with her cheeks out, bro. And also, she came to the driver's side window and she was literally standing by the driver's side window with her ass out in the middle of the street. And this is who he's trying to pursue and get to know and making sure she's the right one. But like, come on, man. Cannot be serious, man. Can somebody make, once again, can somebody make it make sense in the conversation? Because it don't make sense, man. I see, okay. So, I mean, we could probably just be friends then, you know? Friends, I don't be friends. Don't be friends? No. Oh, okay. Well, I don't do gold diggers. Gold digger. Yeah, I don't do gold diggers. Who said I'm a gold digger? You give me gold digger vibes. I just like nice things. No, it's like you're a gold digger to me, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're tripping. Yeah, right, I'm going to go ahead and delete your number, to be honest. And um, you can go ahead and step out. Okay. I only got time for okay, you, though. Okay, do that thing. Yeah, all right. You got enough for me anyways. Yeah. So I'm on my way to some real money. Yeah, all right, go ahead and do your thing. All right, this car probably rented anyway. Yeah, okay. You used to go ahead and step out. You taking too long to get out the car. You're talking too much. Change. Yeah, all right, you, you taking too okay. long to step Whatever. out. Just go ahead. Whatever. Go ahead. Look, you ain't not open the door. Look. Go ahead, get up. Yeah, all right. What the hell on somewhere? Go to She had a lot of 
I ain't gonna lie, my dog. Damn, she had a lot of ass. What'd I tell y'all, man? See, you know what I'm gonna start doing? I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna, it may take me a little bit to do this just because of how I do these videos. But I'm actually start taking my time on these videos and making the right edits and cuts and throwing all these little explosions and making it a lot more into so it's, it's action packed. You know what I'm saying? And then, I, and then I will take stuff that I said in this video and repost it in this same video so that you could so that you really don't forget, right? Because if you kind of go back to kind of the beginning of the video and Shorty says she's about she's she's about money and stuff like that, what did I say? I said, watch. Watch how he shames her in this video, degrades her for only like, like want to deal with people and like and like people that have things. And what does he do at the end of the video? Oh, you're a gold digger. She, she, I'm not a gold digger. I, I just like people who have nice things and like nice things. Yeah, that's gold. You like people who got nice life. You shaming somebody for only want to deal with people up here and not and not down here, man. Like I said, make it make sense if you can. I bet you can't. I think the dude's name is MD4 or I don't know. Like I said, M4D or something like that. I know you said something about the chair needs some WD40. It was it's just one spot on the chair, bro. If I turn it too much this way, you're gonna hear the. Uh, other than that, it's still see. Look, other than that, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's a funny comment, man. And um, shout out to everybody who sent me this video. Like I said, I know videos is backed up. Like I said, you think about this for a minute, y'all. If you send me one person, I'm going to say one person. One person can send me three videos. Just imagine. One person, look, Walsh, check these three videos out. Now, imagine if I'm getting 20 to 40 inboxes a fucking day and emails a day with people sending me hella videos. See what I'm saying? So, typically what I will do is, sometimes I, if you, I will go through all the threads and I will find a matching video. So if I go through all the threads, say I say I may go through 15 different threads, then I find the matching video or two matching videos in every thread. Like I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna react to that video because that's highly requested. So a lot of times you may send me stuff. You may be like, hey, I don't never react to what you send me. But like I said, bro, I guess it's so. If y'all could really see, I may pull my Instagram up on this screen so y'all can actually see. How wild this is. I may put my email up maybe one day. What an email that people send stuff to. Maybe one day so y'all can see how wild it be. So y'all can understand like, damn, this nigga get hella requests to do this one, do that one, do that. It's going to be impossible for me to actually, it's going to be impossible for me to actually do all those videos. You know what I'm saying? So, but with that being said, what y'all think about Nair trying to wife up? A motherfucker with they ass. I just think about that, man. Leave a comment in the comment section, man. Matter of fact, don't just leave a comment, man. Y'all, y'all know what I'm about to say, man. Tear his ass up in the comment section for this one, man. Light his ass up, something, some special. But with that being said, like, share, subscribe. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to Walls Production Clips. Subscribe to Walls Production Live, both on YouTube. Subscribe to not subscribe. Go like and follow the Facebook page, My Pet Express. I think we almost they, I think that page is almost at 2,000 followers or something like that. I'm not sure. So, but with that being said, man, <laughs> we are out until the next one.